off, right? So Carly, 2-1 win under the lights, your thoughts on that game? Um, I think it's one I'm going to have to reflect on and review. Um, I think sometimes, um, I guess in the heat of the moment, you, you're too emotional at times to have a, a clear viewpoint on it. But um, I'd say overall, look, I'm, I'm happy that we've got the win. Um, and, you know, sometimes when your team's not at their best, um, you just have to dig in and... Um, find the win from somewhere and we did that tonight and two very good goals from Holly so extremely um, pleased for her I think the first half we started brightly we created some good chances and I think you know we said at half time like we could have been five nil up at half time if we'd have took our chances and that's disappointing because um, it's not one or two like there were three or four very very good ones and um, so we have to be more clinical in those moments for sure um, and then I think the second half again, you know, we were a bit sloppy, and we we knew that they were dangerous in transition, and um, and they've created a couple of opportunities that um, on another day they put those away, and we're standing here um, looking on the wrong side of a result. So um, we have to learn from these things. Um, we have to be better individually and collectively. Um, but the positive that we can take is that we know that we weren't at our best tonight. Um, but we've still managed to come away with the three points and that's the main thing and now we just have to regroup, refocus, hit the training ground and uh, prepare for the next fixture. A brace for Holly Manders this evening, that takes us to 14 for the season, how impressed have you been with her in her debut season? Yeah, Holly's going from strength to strength, um, you know, we, we're doing a lot of work with the players one-to-one, -one. Um, you know, Holly's took on some really good um, some good individual bits of detail that are, are, are sort of helping her to be even more effective in games and um, she's thirsty for that knowledge and she wants to improve and she wants to do better um, and to I guess add the goals that she's got now um, and also the assist that she's offering the team is really important for us in the campaign so um, I'm pleased for her as an individual but um, I'm pleased for the team that she can add those goals um, as a collective. A word on Becky Anderson, who made her 100th appearance for Nottingham Forest this evening. How much of an achievement is that? Yeah, it's huge. I, th I don't think people realise hitting those sorts of numbers um, in the women's game in general is very difficult, let alone for one club. Um, so the Nottingham Forest fans um, should be extremely proud of that. I, I know I certainly am, you know. That's, you know, with 250, it's the 100 club, club for Bex and May, and that's a, a great achievement. And, you know, Bex has played pretty much every minute of every game for us this season. 
captain and um, she's an absolute warrior in, in that midfield playing in that four and um, you know we, we, we're we very lucky to have her here um, and uh, yeah she's a, a huge asset to the club and um, we, we hope to see more numbers added to that tally. A brace today, how did it feel to get those goals? I'm absolutely buzzing and obviously it was only a 2-1 win in the end so they were quite crucial goals so happy for help the girls out. Especially that first goal, where does that rank for you for goals that you've scored in your career? Um, I think it's definitely up there but I did miss one before that which I think I should have. It's actually a bit easier than that one so yeah, it's glad that one went in. Obviously you got the two, that one hit the bar as well. Do you think you're edging closer to hat-trick this season? Yeah, I've never actually scored a hat-trick and I just don't feel like I ever will at this rate. It's I've just never ever, like when you score two the ball never bounces for you but hopefully I'll get there one day. It's 14 for the season now, did you expect to score that many at the start of the season? Um, when the season started, I always wanted to help the girls out in whatever way I could, so if 14 goals is what I've got, then I'm buzzing with it, yeah. Hopefully more. Three points for the Reds under the lights. What were your thoughts on the performance? Um, I think when a team comes and they don't really look to play, it is difficult to break down a block, but I feel like you've just got to be patient, and the goals came from like not even our easiest chances, so I think on another day we'd score six or seven in this game. Five away games coming up next. Are uh, the team ready for the challenge ahead? Yeah, I think we've, um, we're have we unbeaten here at Grange Park, so I think we've just got to keep the form going onto the away games and pick as many points up as we can and keep the pressure on the top.